Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to All Things Colleen. I'm still home from medical leave, from my surgery. Uh, I just want to get myself back into semi-normal routine. Well, what's normal anymore with this COVID virus going around? But um, I uh, just been hanging around this morning, kind of being lazy. Brian's already off at work. Uh, I got my morning shake down. Yeah, I just want to get myself up, go wash my face, uh, make the bed. I have a little errands to run. I gotta run to the bank and um, find something for dinner. And um, our anniversary is tomorrow, so uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Can't go anywhere. Everything's closed. I did order some stuff. It's expected to come in, so I do gotta get some like gift wrap or a card or something. But um, I'll take you along for the day, and um, hopefully I can get myself feeling better and back into my my routine here. So I finally made it out of the house. It's raining. It's not a very nice day. Um, but anyways, it took me a while to get out of the house. I ended up doing some work on the computer and one thing led to another and I was cleaning and did a load of laundry, but I'm finally out. And um, first stop, I went to the dry cleaners. I already picked up the dry cleaning. It's in the back. Uh, now I'm at the bank and I got out there was a line forming outside, everyone's getting all wet, and um, there was a sign on the door saying you only could use the ATM, you couldn't actually, you couldn't physically go inside the bank. And um, I decided, okay, I'll just go through the drive-thru, waited in the drive-thru about 20 minutes, bunch of cars, I get up and ask them, I needed a certified check and they tell me that um, I couldn't get a certified check for the amount that I wanted, that I would need to wait and make an appointment. And um, I said, okay, let's make an appointment. This is crazy. But um, the first available appointment they can give me is for a week away at 2.30 in the afternoon. It, it couldn't even be one to two days later. I have to wait an entire week and at 2.30. So I also have to make sure um, I can get myself to leave work early, etc., to get there because she said if I'm at any more than 10 minutes late that they cancel the appointment you have to reschedule they'll give it away to someone else and also when I do arrive to the appointment I need to make sure I have my face mask and gloves and hold my driver's license up to the glass door so they know that I am Colleen and I'm here for my appointment I just think this is crazy like hasn't it always been a, a crime to wear a, a face mask into a bank and now it's required you can't enter unless you have a face mask on so um i just i just think all this is nuts i i got a little choked up there's an elderly gentleman in his 80s probably this was took him every ounce of effort to get himself in the car and to the bank and he can't even go in the bank so someone's currently helping them around the drive-thru, but this, this world, it's crazy right now. So uh, I didn't get to do my thing at the bank. I did take $20 out, but it's not what I need it. Um, I'm gonna hop right next door. There's a CVS. I wanna see if I can get any kind of decorations, decorate the apartment or anything for our anniversary since we can't go anywhere or do anything. Uh, I'll just surprise Brian and decorate a little. Maybe they have a balloon or something, but um, that's about it. So uh, then I'll head home and get some lunch and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right. Bye.